Today I have something very interesting. This is the so-called mid-plane from a HP C7000 blade enclosure. Uh, the mid-plane, it is not called back-plane because uh, it sits in the middle of the enclosure and it has connections on both sides. These connections here are for the I.O. modules. I.O. modules like uh, Ethernet switches, fiber channel switches, virtual connect. Uh, the connectors here, they are for uh, the fans. There are, there are six fans, uh, sorry, ten fans uh, for the entire enclosure. On the other side is quite a little bit heavy, it weighs about 10 kilos, only the backplane thing here. Here we have 16 connectors for 16 half size blades or 8 full size blades. Um, I don't want to talk too much about the details of the blades, what they are. You certainly find it in the internet if you are interested. Today I just want to look inside this thing here. Um, we have here the power connectors for every single blade. There is a positive and a negative um, connector. I already removed the the red and the black uh, top because um, this all goes to to the recycling when I'm finished with it. So to be honest I have already uh, disassembled it and then reassembled it because I wanted to make this video. Well, uh, some facts are ah, here on these connectors. You have uh, six power supplies. Each power supply can deliver up to 2200 watts. Um, there are a uh, next generation power supply, they can deliver even 2400 watts multiplied by six. That means we have about 13 kilowatts of power which we can draw from all six power supply if they are configured uh, in that uh, manner. 13 kilowatts, 13,000 watts. We will see how this power will is distributed uh, inside the back plane and well maybe we will see other interesting things. Um, these little doors here, they look like small garage doors. Let me zoom in a little bit. They open and close. They open when you uh, install a server into this bay. You slide the server in, the garage door opens and the air flow um, goes through that opening. If you have no uh, server installed, the door is closed and the air flow goes to the other servers here. So each slot has its own opening for, uh, for the airflow. This is because uh, the blades themselves, they have no fans inside. So the entire cooling is provided by the, uh, by the blade uh, enclosure, by the 10 fans on the back side. Okay, let's take it apart. 
We need uh, Torx 15. This is the mostly used uh, tool when you're working with HP servers. Torx 15. Almost everything goes with that. Here you can see the garage doors again on the upper side, on the lower side. Everything is sealed to prevent the air going somewhere where it shouldn't go. Here is a nice detail of the mechanics. We have more seals around. Oops, no, that is screwed down. Here is the, the heart of the mid plane. That's the board where all the connections are going. Everything from USB to uh, gigabit or even 10 gigabit Ethernet, uh, virtual connect, fiber channel, everything goes from the servers to the I.O. modules. Just look at the thickness of this beast. I don't know how many layers it has. There is no uh, marking around here. Maybe it's not that many layers, but it must be extremely stable because if you slide in servers, plates and uh, slide it in and out, and maybe if it gets warm, it can get quite a little bit warm here. Uh, that shouldn't move at all, so this is hard like a rock. No way to bend it or something like that. So. Some more sealing. This is just oops, a foam uh, thing. Then we have an insulation plate that protects the, the power pins and insulates everything from the power back plane. You can read it here, it's a 12 volt uh, power supply. So all the servers, all the IO uh, modules, everything runs on 12 volt. The power supplies are delivering 12 volt and well also 5 volt but only as a standby uh, supply. So as a rough calculation we I said uh, that the maximum power here is about 13 kilowatts at 12 volts that makes more than 1000 amperes. 1000 amperes that go from the power connector board here through this screws here and to these two separated plates one for the positive rail 
one for the negative rail. Uh, there is no marking about which is which. And because I already removed uh, the tips here on the connectors, which have been red and black, so I can't say at the moment which one was the positive and which the negative. But, uh, well, it's not that important at the moment. So, to remove this I need a little bit of bigger Torx. Let's look at this, 25 is okay. So that's it. Look at this. Power comes in through this connector. Four connections for positive, four negative, or well, I don't know which is which. Uh, simple insulation around here that protects against accidental touching of something look at this isn't that beautiful I don't know how many we are holes are going through this uh, through this PCB but I don't know hundreds of them each power supply uh, delivers about 180 amps so I think well there is a lot of copper you need for that and the whole power goes through these two pads and the screws here This is the back plane for the fans. One, two, three, four, five fans. Five more on the other side. There are the power connections. Each fan draws about 16 amps. That makes times five. 80 amps only for the fans at 12 volt. There's a little connector that goes to the mid plane for the fan uh, control they are of course uh, speed controlled they are monitored if they are working correctly all this data goes to the small connector here power comes from this side this goes directly onto the power back plane volt power back plane so let's, let's remove the other, the other back plane fan back plane it's exactly the same unit the same connections so there is a little bit of chassis frame with a with an insulation uh, sheet here some relatively thick plastic with nice inserts threaded inserts that's not bad well if you have screws that have to uh, hold all this in place you need 
a little bit a little bit more than only uh, self tapping screws. So this is just a little bit of sheet metal with the positioning uh, pins here. These positioning pins are used in manufacturing to make it a little bit easier that everything is on the right place. So now this is really the heart of the power backplane. It's a solid piece of copper. It doesn't look like copper because it's uh, plated with some, I don't know, maybe tin plated and here with the gray paint on it. But from the weight of it and if you scratch it a little bit or maybe a little bit more you can see here I have already removed the layer I hope you can see it the reddish color of copper and this alone is about well it's always a little difficult to to guess but mm, half a kilo maybe a kilo I don't know here is the separator which is extremely important in this case because you certainly don't want a short circuit here with a 1000 amp power supply that's the other polarity uh, bus plate made by Amphenol. Oh, can we see that? Yes. Amphenol Interconnect Products Corporation. It's as heavy as the other one. That goes into the recycling bin. Copper is at the moment five to six Swiss francs per kilo so when I collect more of these things this is quite a little bit of money now is there something interesting here I think the most interesting is what you can see because uh, this backplane is capable of a couple of terabits per second. Of course, all the all the bosses from the individual servers uh, added together. But um, well, that's uh, just a bit of engineering inside here to lay out all these traces correctly with the correct impedance and everything. So unfortunately we can't see that. Maybe we can have a closer look to these connectors here. You see this uh, middle row here. That's a, a ground, a shielding that shields one side from the other. There is possibly, no, there is not more shielding inside. Let's see on this side. Yes, we can see it here quite well. There's also the higher pins here. They are all connected together. They are all uh, grounded. Shielding between the individual rows of, uh, of the signal pins here. Anything else? We have a, an FRUEE prom. Maybe it stores some information about the part itself, some uh, part numbers, some in the identification numbers. There are a couple of resistors, like here, but I think that's 
everything about this. Um, this holes here are the connections for uh, for the I/O module modules. They go directly to the to the power backplane with some smaller pins, 12 volt. As you can see, one goes to the ground, the other one is uh, insulated. Well, uh, we can see the HP engineers have uh, a sense for humor. They call it the Twisted Sister Signal Midplane. Can we see that? I hope so. Well, that's about it. Nothing more, nothing fancy about this. As I said, the whole uh, know-how is inside this board. The know-how about routing the, the traces correctly. There is nothing special. special. Here we have a couple of capacitors. Maybe to reduce some spikes when you slide in and out the power supplies. A few more capacitors here. A bunch of resistors. But, well, I think that's about it.